Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an ultimate clean with me. As you can see, our house is pretty dirty. I've got so many dishes to do, lots of cleaning up all around the house to do. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me for today's cleaning video. So anytime I plan on tackling the whole house for cleaning, I always start in the kitchen. It's usually the dirtiest area of the house or more likely the most cluttered area of the house. And it's also the first thing you see when you walk in. So I always try to make sure that the kitchen is clean first. That way the house automatically looks a lot cleaner. I am just taking all of the dishes, rinsing them out and putting them in the dishwasher and things that are a little bit heavier soiled or um, harder to fit in the dishwasher, I will just wash those dishes by hand. On this particular morning, I had made breakfast for dinner the night before. It's one of my kids' favorite things to have for dinner. So I have these pans with eggs, and this one was from biscuits, and a cutting board probably from fruit, um, but all of this stacked up just from one day before, so I can't go any longer than one day without doing dishes, especially when you have a big family like I do. So now I'm just going to clean out my sink using this stainless steel sink cleaner that I found at my local home goods. I'm sure that they have it at most grocery stores or Walmart or Target. I had never used it before and I was needing a product to clean out my stainless steel sinks pretty well. And I would say it did a pretty good job. I don't think it removed everything that I was hoping it would. So if you guys have any other recommendations for cleaning stainless steel sinks, I would love it if you guys would leave them in the comments below. Next, I'm going to clean off my stove top. I'm just using an all-purpose cleaner by the brand Smartly from Target. And this was recommended to me by so many people. It says it smells like a citrus grove, but it smells very similar to the volcano candle that is very popular in my personal favorite scented candle. It smells very similar, I wouldn't say exact, but I'm also looking for a very good stove top cleaner as well. So if you guys have a recommendation, I would love to hear it in the comments below.
And now I'm using this stainless steel cleaner by the brand Magic. This is for stainless steel appliances. And this works pretty well, I would say, if you don't rub it in well, it sometimes will leave a little bit of a residue. But for the most part, it works pretty well on my stainless steel appliances. going to clean off my countertops using the same Smartly all-purpose cleaner. I really like that it just makes the house smell so good and I feel like it does a pretty good job of cleaning off the counters. I do have a granite countertop cleaner that I kind of switch off with um, back and forth but today I decided to use this one. And this is our kitchen island that collects anything and everything. As soon as we walk through the door, this is where we set things and it's kind of the catch-all for just about everything. So as you can imagine, it's always looking and feeling very cluttered. So I'm just removing everything off of the island so that I can wipe down the counters. Next up are my kids' filthy high chairs. Cash just finished eating breakfast on this one, so he's got either applesauce or yogurt on his high chair, but I would highly recommend these to anyone. These are high chairs from Ikea. They are super inexpensive. They are so easy to clean. They're not bulky, and they don't take up a lot of space, and they are very sturdy. We obviously like them because we have two of them, but I would highly recommend these to anyone who's looking for a nice high chair. Now I'm just wiping down our kitchen table using the Smartly all-purpose cleaner. This does a very good job of cleaning off the table without leaving any stains or residue. I get a little bit worried about things that I spray on this table. I just don't want it to fade or mess up the table, but this cleanser does a great job. Now that I'm done picking up the living room, I'm going to take off two of these couch cushion covers and wash them. I washed all of them the other day, but my dog jumped up on the couch and got muddy paws all over two of these, and I have to take one of them outside because the feathers come out. And now I'm just removing the sheets and the pillowcases off of our bed. That way I can throw them in the washer, and by the time I am done cleaning the rest of the house, we will have nice clean sheets. So 
now it's time to clean the master bathroom. I'm going to be using this Mrs. Meyer surface scrub on the countertops. I really like this stuff. If you've been watching me for a while, I have been using this since some of my very first cleaning videos. I really like it. Just make sure that you rinse off your counters with water or else it can leave a little bit of a powdery residue when it dries. So just make sure to give your counters a good rinse and I promise you will like it. So I found this pretty spray bottle in the Target Dollar Spot recently and I just filled it with vinegar and I use it to help remove the hard water stains on our shower glass doors. I will also use glass cleaner after this but the vinegar really helps to take off those hard water stains. So if you have been following my channel for a while, you will know that I love using these Clorox toilet scrubbers ever since my mother-in-law introduced me to them. They make it so easy to clean your toilet and I will show you guys the box when I do the next bathroom, that way in case you guys want to purchase them. And then I'm just going to use some disinfecting wipes to wipe around the toilet and then also this Clorox urine remover. I have also been using that for so long when you have boys or even a husband in your house. It is best to spray the urine remover all around the toilet and all around the floor because you know it doesn't always make it in the toilet. And next I'm just going to Swiffer the bathroom floor. I really like the heavy duty Swiffers. They're a lot more wet than the original ones, and I also like that they have the scent of gain in them. I love the smell of gain detergent. time to sit down for a few minutes and fold a couple loads of laundry. I am always in over my head with laundry. With a big family comes lots of laundry and it is just a never-ending cycle. As I'm sure you know, if you are always caught up on laundry, bless you and please come to my house and do mine. So I don't normally switch out my shower curtains on a normal basis, but I bought a new one a few days ago, so I took this time to go ahead and hang up the new one. I will link it below. It is from Target, and it is very inexpensive, and I absolutely love it. Right now, Cooper is potty training, and if you've ever potty trained a little boy before, you know that pee goes everywhere but the toilet. So right now, I'm just wiping everything down with antibacterial wipes, including the potty, the stool, the toilet, and I'm going to use the urine remover all around the toilet and all on the floor.
just going to run a quick vacuum over the living room floor. Cash is no longer afraid of the vacuum anymore, which is nice because I don't have to hold him while vacuuming at the same time. And just a few days ago, we got our carpets professionally cleaned, and there is not much that makes me happier than nice, fresh, clean carpet. Alright guys, so that is it for today's ultimate cleaning video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Believe it or not, it did take me almost all day to clean the entire house, but it feels so good to have a nice clean home, and I hope it gives you a little bit of motivation to clean your own house. The last thing that I like to do after having a clean home is to light a candle, and this is my favorite country pear candle by Antique Candleworks. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you here. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.